<laughs> it's kind of crazy that you can kill him that fast. But... Actually, no, never mind. This is crazy. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the channel. My name's Rod, and today we are going to be playing some Killing Floor 2. We are going to be trying out the new Dragon Blaze weapon for Firebug, which is one of the new HRG weapons that's coming in this update. Now, this is a pretty expensive weapon. It's the Doomstick, but for Firebug. It's still a Tier 4, just like the regular Doomstick, and it hits nearly as hard as the regular Doomstick. It's surprisingly strong, too, so let's clear up all of this. Now, I'm not going to kill all. I'm going to kill all but one so that we can actually go and get all of the pendants and stuff. So our very first pendant is right out here. You got to run through this section. That's the beginning right there. Come right over here, and it is on this guy's face. It's kind of in an awkward position, but you can shoot it there. Next one, we're going to be going down this way. Huh, and it seems like the fat guy killed himself. Okay, well, that's not what I wanted to have happen. Anyway, we're still going to be able to get to the uh, other pendants really quick. Here's one right here. Sometimes this one doesn't go away. I've had it happen a couple of times where I've shot it, and it just has refused to disappear. Not entirely sure why that's the case. All right, next little one is right over here. We've got blue. This one's pretty easy to spot. Our third one is right back here at the pub. Take that out. Next one, you go right down here. For some reason, you break your feet sometimes there. I'm not sure why. Sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't. Either way. Our next one is right there. That's the purple one. And we just go right upstairs here. And then we've got our yellow one right there. The cannon is hitting it. Let me check real quick. Yep, it did. Fantastic. Alright, let's go through all of this really quick. A lot of stuff. And we gotta get back to the... Uh, main area. Finding the other collectible is actually fairly easy in this map because the skulls are bright red and they're like kind of all over the place. All right, back from one side of the map to the other now. And then these will open. It does take a second to go though because they do come down one at a time. Kind of wanted to show this without having to kill everything, but you can get a whole bunch of weapons in here. Apparently on Endless you can actually get more than just tier one weapons. It seems to only be tier 1s, though, if you are playing just on the survival difficulty for some reason. Not sure why. So let's get the Dragon Blaze. Dragon Blaze weighs 7, which is a pretty good weight. It costs 1400 so it's slightly cheaper than other tier 4s. And it takes 1500 to upgrade it, so you can go up to a tier 5. And here is our new souped-up shotgun. <laughs> now, there is something else that's kind of interesting about this, and that is kind of the pattern that it fires in. When you fire the normal shot, it fires in a vertical pattern with all the pellets. I'll show that in a second. And when you're using the secondary fire, rather than firing all four barrels like the regular Doomstick does, this fires it in a horizontal pattern. Now, actually a pretty good place to sit on this map is right in here because once you have this unlocked, you can actually have body armor that spawns in here. You may need to grab some of these weapons though, try to get it to respawn, so. But another uh, great thing you can do with this is just kind of annihilate everything if you have Pyromaniac. This may not be the best place to sit in solo. Reload's actually fairly quick on this too, which is kind of nice. And of course you can pair this with all sorts of things. Right now we have the uh, Dragon's Breath, but I found that other weapons like the Helios Rifle or the... Um, well, kind of anything work with it. Helios Rifle in particular is really good, but... Uh, also, Thermite Boar, if you have that DLC. If not, it's not a huge deal. Oh, I didn't abuse the fact that we had it with an ammo. Whoops. Not entirely sure why they gave Firebug another really strong weapon. Not that I'm complaining, but this does feel super strong. Especially in Zed time. All right, there's a straight gear, so, I mean, naturally, you have to kind of get rid of him real quick. 
Oh, and all the flesh bounds too. Because of course. Don't you know Firebug is best when fighting in a corner? And <laughs> just absolutely murdering flesh bounds. Most of the time you can't do that. At least that fast to kill flesh bounds. Only really the Helios lets you do that. And I guess we could take that weapon too if we wanted. Because why not? The upgrade to this actually does make it significantly better. Um, and it's already really good. So that should kind of say something. But combining it with something like this gives you a good long to medium-ish range gun. And this is just insane at close and medium range. And especially during Zed time, as you can see. So let's begin this again. We can actually probably just sit inside that area over there. Kind of see how it goes. I'm betting it goes just fine. Oh. Stay back, Fleshbound. You're not allowed in here. <laughs> it's kind of crazy that you can kill him that fast. But... Actually, no, never mind. This is crazy. That was three flesh pounds, full size flesh pounds, taken down by Firebug. Immensely easy. There was a point where Firebug could not do that. Ah, oh, it sounds like they're sending more flesh pounds at us. Whatever will we do? <laughs> I just annihilate them with this thing. All right, let's see which boss we get then. Matriarch, fun. We actually have a really strong build for her because, well, this would be really strong against anybody, but the uh, Helios rifle in particular is quite nice against her. Oh yeah, I hear you too, Matriarch. Got to use the shotgun, right? I mean, we brought it along for a reason. Wooden cart, protect me! Oh, it did. Stone pillar, protect me. This one definitely will. Did this with Berserker the other time when I was fighting her. Yeah. Effectively utilizing plasma is a fine art. Okay. Lightning is a rather that actually blocks us too. <laughs> Found that inadvertently. You do need to be on the opposite side of it though. Otherwise it doesn't work as well. It'd be awesome if I could get Zed time, because I could have used the heck out of the Yep. Go on, let me switch. No! Like I wanted more shotgun fire. This has taken a strange twist. Has it taken a strange twist? Maybe. I can hear you. Your brightness may result in that. Also running out of shotgun shells. Effectively utilizing. Surely huh. I can improvise okay. around this. Pop my Edar! Damn. Alright, well, it looks like we're gonna have to be using our microwave gun for her. I mean, our Helios rifle, not microwave gun. That's the one weapon you can't take with this. Because it weighs nine. You can do it on Survivalist, I wouldn't recommend it, but you can do it. Man. Actually, you can do that? There we go, we'll just light her on fire and call it a day. <laughs> So, new Dragon's Play is really, really strong. So that was Dragon's Play is a super fun new weapon. I hope it doesn't get nerfed in the upcoming patch, because there will be a beta too. This is very early access. Thanks everybody for watching this, and a very special thanks to my supporters out there. I really do appreciate all the support that you guys give me. If you'd like to see my other Killing Floor 2 content, be sure to click on this playlist right over here. That'll take you to a full playlist of videos. Thanks, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye!